the new design for first and second class stamps have been revealed by the Royal Mail. King Charles has departed from tradition by opting not to wear a crown in the new design for first and second class stamps, released by the Royal Mail today. The crown's absence represents the king's wish to modernize the monarchy and appear in keeping with today's society. Previous stamps featuring the late Queen Elizabeth II and Queen Victoria showed them wearing a diamond diadem, which was created for the coronation of George IV in 1821. Stamps featuring male monarchs, including Edward VII, George V, Edward VIII and George VI, featured a crown somewhere on the stamps, even if they were not seen wearing it. But despite no crown appearing on King Charles's new stamp, he has kept a number of other centuries-old traditions. For example, the design was adapted from a profile sculpture of the monarch made by British artist Martin Jennings for the Royal Mint to create new coins. It has been a tradition since Queen Victoria featured on the world's first adhesive postage stamp, the Penny Black, in 1840 for the image to be taken from the one used for coinage. Another continuation is that the image shows the king's left side profile, another trademark kept since Queen Victoria's reign. Charles's attempt at continuity also extends to the design, which features a simple unclutter portrait that is largely based on stamps featuring his late mother. David Gold, Royal Mail's Director of External Affairs and Policy, said, Personally, I think what marks this stamp out is that there is no embellishment at all, no crown, just simply the face of the human being, on the plain background, almost saying, this is me and I'm at your service, which I think in this modern age is actually rather humbling. The definitive stamps, which have just the monarch's head and value of the stamp on a plain colored background with a barcode alongside, will go on general sale from April 4 but collectors and the general public can now register their interest on Royal Mail's website. At the King's request, post offices and other retailers will not start selling the new stamps until their stocks featuring the late Queen are sold. This is to reduce the environmental and financial impact of the change of monarch. Mr. Gold said, the king gave very clear directions he didn't want anything to be pulped, he didn't want things being shredded, he didn't want stock being thrown away. He was very clear, however long it takes you to clear the stock there's no rush, and that's entirely in line with his well-stated principles on waste and environmentalism. The new stamps will come in four colors, which delineate Ian items class and size. First class will be in plum purple, while second class stamps will be in holly green. Large first-class stamps will take the color of marine turquoise and large second-class stamps will be in dark pine green. The new first-class stamp will form part of an exhibition at London's Postal Museum about the nation's definitive stamps called the King's Stamp, which runs until September 23.